Hi there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading. I felt very drawn to the animal spirit decks here um, in the last group actually. So that's what I'm gonna pull for you too uh, from both animal spirit decks that I have. And then um, we'll just see where it goes from there. So I open up to channel your spirit team. I'm Kim, I think I said that. 48 hours, next 48 hours is what the reading is for. Um, your spirit guides, your angels, my mom, the angel in the picture is helping on the other side. I'm positive. I got some sage incense burning, a candle lit just for your reading. <laughs> Actually, it was just needed one, but it is just for your reading essentially. So let's see what messages do you have for Capricorn really? beautiful that's why i chose these animal spirit messages they are so beautiful here lately oh goodness okay 50 rhino spirit says overcome any obstacle okay we're going we're going we're going we're still going Ooh. i have 62 turtle spirit slow and steady wins the race 62 turtle spirit slow and steady wins the race i just got lotion on that um so we have a five and we have an eight. Okay, what else? What else? Four, a Capricorn, be the peace. Be the peace. 21, Dove Spirit, be peace. Okay, and then I have Horse Spirit, which that is a three. And then we have Horse Spirit breaking down to a six with 33. Freedom is yours. It's also a master number. The B is on the bottom, just to let you know was on the bottom i have um armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries i was about to say who who was that 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 came out for but it was me it was my private reading that i did for myself um that it came out for uh lotion and then hawk spirit let spirit be your guide okay maybe guiding you towards peace there's another five so we have three three literally three 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 here okay we have change, we have creation, and right in the middle, and oh, we have another five. Bat spirit rebirth is assured on the bottom. So, this is good. This is a good energy. This is maybe a rebirth in consciousness of some sort. And that says, trust the great mystery. I'm going to take that one too. Spirit has your back on the bottom. I'm going to take these two. I'm going to trust, trust the girl. I'm going to trust in the great mystery here. Let's see what it, what is this about for Capricorn? All right. Make some room for the other cards. A rebirth is assured. Number five, the bat spirit. 65, master number 11. Trust the great mystery. And then hawk spirit with the focus. Okay. Well, we're going to see. What is this about? What else do you want to tell us about these? You get a sip of my coffee. Hang on one second. I get that that, that spiral on top of the rhino that equals, you know, growth um, is, is what is really helping you achieve getting over any kind of obstacle. It's like your... Um, your own uh, innate wisdom at this time too and and from your experiences not just innate um cosmic egg trust the great mystery and it comes out on top of the, the cosmic egg comes out on top of the great great mystery the whale spirit the cosmic egg is tapping into the all consciousness the um everything that is and isn't consciousness okay so when you get answers seemingly from nowhere you channel some crazy stuff that's from that energy of the cosmic egg hmm. higher um a higher source giving you the information is what i'm getting with that okay make sure that you can still see all these let's move this over over i didn't realize i had that much room on this side there we go Okay. <clears throat> so it's kind of like um all information pa 
past even the lives of just humankind here as far as like in the universe universal um, knowledge or information oh and the peacock landing on top of the rebirth is assured is the peacock could be many eyes on you at this time as you are um, changing, growing, evolving, your consciousness expanding, awareness expanding. The peacock's saying that you're showing, you know, your colors and you should be proud. Others are their own looking. You see those feathers that always remind me of little eyes, um, eyes on you. Um, and you're looking really nice. You're looking lovely. You're being noticed, recognized uh, for the colors that you show. Okay, so you're standing out and you should have pride about that. What else do we have? Another bat, of course. Another bat because rebirth is assured came out, but this bat in, in this deck means that there's a closing of a chapter, which essentially the rebirth is, is after a, a death of something, right? And so something new. So these are kind of very similar though. Um, the ending of a chapter, marking the ending of a chapter for you. I'm going to put the bats together there. Let's put the bats together. Let's just see what else wants to come out. I have the snake. Um, hidden. It, it, <laughs> hidden gifts. Goodness, that eagle's like, I'm coming out no matter what. Hang on. I've got a lot of cards on the floor now. <laughs> The phoenix is the one that is face up out of all these cards that landed. Ow. Oh my goodness. Ah. Okay. So the one, the one that landed face up was the phoenix. So I'm going to take the phoenix because this goes hand in hand with that uh, bat spirit, right? And the eagle and the hawk spirit. Oh, very, very um, sharp hunters right in their focus they just they get what they want and also freedom 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 you know it represents freedom so let spirit be your guide here as you transform like uh the phoenix like the phoenix it could be quite explosive like i haven't had the cards do that in quite a while <laughs> all right what else do you want to Tell Capricorn what other message? Phoenix, the rebirth, the rising. The bees coming out. We saw that so um, on the other deck. So this is about getting sweet results. And it is about the practical, like, day-to-day -day things that you are tending to. The everyday to day things that you are tending to. The work and the success when you put in the work. Definitely talking about the success when you put in the work. That phoenix wings, it looks like the peace. It feels like the, if there is a, this new you, it feels a little bit more like peaceful. The wolf, you could be very territorial over your family or soul family, right? With the wolf, you're, you are looked at as the leader. And that is why it's important for you to maintain peace and focus and um, show others what freedom really looks like or what overcoming every obstacle really looks like. <clears throat> And then I have the owl because it is uh, coming of, across as clairvoyance, wisdom, a knowing, divine feminine, secret knowledge. And again, three very powerful predator birds. Predator birds. Also, the peacock has really thick skin. So... It's just a trait that, so there you go. There's a trait. <laughs> and the horse, I saw that one on the peak out. Divine Feminine, uh, Earth Energy, towards Virgo Capricorn. Your energy, you're a very hard worker and that slow and steady wins the race. If you can see the vision, you can see it happening for you, then it is. And then the butterfly, very similar to the phoenix, right? And the lion, regality, mastery, um, Complete change and metamorphosis here with the butterfly. Complete change and metamorphosis. Uh, looking really good. Looking really pretty. Looking like you could fly. Looking fly like you could fly. Hmm. 
and like the lion here, um, mastery level on some something. And the horse, hardest working uh, card for sure, hardest working. Uh, and everybody's getting my favorite animal here lately, <laughs> the zebra. So your creativity is so unique and is centric to you. Um, I don't know, something about your artistry or the art that you put, your creativity that you uh, could put into everything. It says with the raccoon that you might be hiding some artistic genius or gifts or talents, kind of just hiding them away. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be pulling from the psychic tarot is what I'm feeling drawn to. I'm going to do the kipper, and I'm like, no, we're keeping this light. So there's something about using your uh, creativity to create. And with the zebra, like, you really, your work stands out, or something that you do creatively is um, really, really standing out to others. Like, you're soaring above the rest with this eagle, too. Literally soaring above the rest here, Capricorn. And also your energy. It is the, the devil card, the temptation. But look, this is the power of your energy here. The ability to be focused, plan. Sometimes like ruthless. Like we're going to get this. Um, it's a good energy though when it, when it is balanced. And you would be the one to know how to balance that energy the best. This could be about your strategy, about what it is. Um... It can be about resisting some kind of temptation um, or the balance being that key. Resisting some kind of temptation and walking through a new portal. And that balance. That's what I was saying with this energy. It's okay if it's balanced. It's okay if it's balanced. And here's your balance. Justice. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so then, others than the devil energy, we have Scorpio energy. We only have major arcana. We have balance, which is justice. Libra energy, very uh, balanced partnerships, relationships also. And balanced in every area of your life, being that peace in your relationships, being the peace. And the transformation, it's beautiful because it's exactly what we're saying with the butterfly and the phoenix. It's, the, it's an ending ultimately it's an ending that is leading into this um phoenix rising new beginning right yes it's leading for your triumph i mean look at this the chariot card came out i don't even have to go any further this is a great reading i'm leaving it the way it is eight of pentacles on the bottom if this has to do with work or something you're working on you're gonna have positive movement forward in it this is a victory you keep that awareness that you've been keeping up we have four major arcana expect some huge big things that when these energies are balanced you are so aware of what path now it needs that you need to be on um after the ending of this chapter to just keep on progressing and going forward especially when it comes to those everyday things it's like you're the you're the champ of those everyday material um needing things <laughs> like victories you um, triumph in every way with this chariot. So you're on your way um, to accumulation, to more success, to maybe unleashing some more skills, talents, and abilities, and and coming off of the or out of the mask and and showing your artistic genius here to everyone. Um, and that's what I've got, guys. If you need a private reading, something longer, something a little bit more tailored to you then just reach out in the description box is how you can get one i'm going to pull an angel number message for you now and wrap up the reading with it close it out oh wow closings new chapters balance triumph in every area in every area if you want it you've got it all right angel number message Stay optimistic. Woo, big changes. Strong number, 555. Major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. Oh, my lordy. So I am optimistic with 555. Also, 666 says a wake-up call for you to 
re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can rise, raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. I am centered. 17, I am independent. It's talking about how you can do things all on your own. And so cat spirit independence is coming through with that card too here. All right, that's what I've got. I'm sending you much love, guys. Bye.